The following sports presentation is brought to you by the PC TV Network, powered by Television, your hometown station. We're home for you. It's Earth's Little Heaven, the PC TV Network. PC TV Network, your hometown station. We're home for you. That's our slogan, but I dare it just. And it's the truth, and it fits best. The PC TV Network, your number one source for local sports with your favorite host, Bernie, Dave, Al, and Scott. The PC TV Network, we're home for you. It's more than a slogan, it's all true. Local programming, stream 24 7. The PC TV Network, it's Earth's little heaven. The PC TV Network, check out channels 22, 28, and 98. Tune in, it's sure to be great. The PC TV Network.com, uh huh. The PC TV Network.com, uh huh. The PC TV Network.com, uh huh. Make sure you support PC TV Network, PC TV Network.com. Your hometown station. From Penny Packer Field on the campus of Potts Grove High School, the PC TV Network proudly presents Pioneer Athletic Conference football. It is Potts Grove hosting Schuylkill Valley. Hello, to everybody. Al Ganoza joined by Mark, Mike DeMartelier, former star at Lansdale Catholic in Kutztown. All right, I won't embarrass you anymore. Um, Mike, great night tonight. And we have Potts Grove. Uh, looking to continue on their success of last week. Yeah, I was as we were speaking earlier, it's just imperative for Coach Hawthorne and his staff to make sure the Potts Grove kids, you know, being 16, 17, 18 year old, whipping up on Lansdale Catholic last week and then playing Schuylkill Valley who hasn't won a game in two years, not reading their press clippings and coming out fired up tonight and start out early like they did last week and was winning 20 nothing in the first quarter against Lansdale Catholic. And you gotta love a nice little chill in the air too. And the weather, I mean, <laughs> I'm jealous. It's so nice for these kids. It's not that hot. It's about mid-70s. It's a perfect fall night for uh, the Falcons. All right. Uh, boy, I'm psyched. And I ran into Tom Bailey. He's still here at the PA. Still a lot of good folks here at Pottsgrove. Well, football off coming up in just a minute. Your potential is waiting. Your future is standing by. Your momentum is ready to be set in motion. All you have to do is take the first step. Three locations, a virtual campus, dedicated faculty, and 50 areas of study. Montgomery County Community College. Apply today and make your own momentum. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. An orthopedic institute is more than a name. It's a unique care model based on quality and compassion. Decades devoted to research and clinical trials, the development of new surgical techniques, and physicians who outperform the field. What you get from our institute is more options and more answers. For your orthopedic care, think Rothman first. New office and seven-day urgent care now open in Limerick. I was one of the icons of local real estate, Terry Musser. Terry, good to see you, man. Good seeing you. I think it's been 20 years or so since we did our first commercial. Yeah. Right now, uh, I can't remember if you did a cartwheel that time or if you dove into the pool or not. I've done both, but the, the cartwheel was always my uh, go-to plan when I needed one. Now, you, I, I found out that you are with a new firm, and you are... I'm with Compass. It's a great company and they have a really cool program called Concierge where they'll lend the money to any homeowners if they want to fix up their house and get it ready to sell. Now, I'm assuming you're still in the same area, right? Is oh, I love the Collegeville area here and I love coming out to see these games. But yes, I've been in Collegeville now for 30 plus years. How's, how's the market looking these days? Market is unbelievable right now. The interest rates have come down and everybody loves it in the area here. It's been growing. and. 
lot of activity, so it's been really uh, fantastic. You still seem to keep up the energy. Uh, it's, uh, you still get the enthusiasm and, and get charged up? Well, you know what, helping people all these years, and I have some experience now that I really enjoy it. My daughter's in the business. I got about eight other associates. We really are having a good time. They're helping me out, and we just love seeing people get their first home and working with people helping to sell. Now, just uh, let people know how they can get in touch with it. What's the best way to reach out and find you? Wow, they could call me on my cell, 610-960-3626. Uh, we're available online. You know, if you go to Compass, if you Google Terry Musser, you'll you'll find me and my team. Now, in, in all fairness to Terry, I wonder, he did offer and he did consider doing the cartwheel. I'm just worried we don't have enough room here. Plus, you said your shoulder, so I, I can understand that. So next time you tune in, I'm doing a cartwheel. Okay. Terry Musser, great seeing hey, you, man. you too, Al. Great seeing you again. Thank you. Take care. Some of their uniforms come in, they got the numbers sewn on nowadays, man. I'll tell you, uniforms nowadays are a lot more uh, intricate. Now, before we get to kickoff, we have educator nominations, and they're the folks you see out in the field. Uh, I'm going to run them down very quickly. Kathleen McGeehan, she's a teacher at Lower. Janice Lawless, teacher at Lower. Abigail Wilcox, she's a teacher at the high school. Ellie Zerifas, teacher at the high school. Bill Hawthorne, teacher at the high school, and I think he also coaches a little bit. Brett Mazzarelli, teacher at the high school. Did I pronounce that right? I hope so. I'm sorry if I didn't. Josh Lindy, high school teacher. William Einhorn, rest of these are teacher at high schools. Greg Sproul, Patricia Carroll, Kim Kalinowski, and Sarah King. Oscar Oak will be kicking off from the right to the left. Uh, I see the flag to our left. No wind whatsoever, no humidity. Nice dry night. This is football weather. I really despise what people say when it's snowing or raining and they say it's football weather. Not for a guy like me that wants to throw the ball over the field. I think tonight is the typical football night. Yep. And I'm sure Coach Pennypacker, he probably loves playing in the rain and snow because he loved running the ball. So we are underway. Short kick, Schuylkill Valley with a return right up the middle. I'll catch the number of the second, but they will have the ball at their own 33-yard line, first and 10. That was number 26 on the return, Cooper Homadell. Hohanadel. And like we were saying pregame, it's imperative for Potsker's defense to try and get a three and out, or at least not give them up any points and put their foot on their throat. Don't give these guys any chance of hope. Schuylkill Valley out of the Berks County area. Don't remember Pottsgrove playing them, at least in recent memory. No, I think Schuylkill Valley played uh, PJP a couple years ago, and PJP took a to him. Out of the shot, going to be a pass. It is incomplete. Kyle Spots. It's a great break on the ball by Scarnato. Pass intended for Michael Goad, Jr., wearing white. Yeah, it'll bring up second down to 10. I actually thought it was a well-thrown ball. Yeah. And again, it will be your quarterback, Drew Campbell. And it is Avery Atacola in the backfield side of him. Potsgrove with uh, five men up front, three with their hands down. Atacola. Gets a shot right away. He was met by the opposing running back from Pottsgrove, Brunson. Brunson stopped him for no gain. That will bring up third down and 10. Yeah, good call. Brunson wearing number four. Brunson listed. 2023, what is that, Mike, a junior? He's a junior. <laughs> and he had a great game last week against Lansdale Catholic, running the ball. See what Campbell does. He has a wide receiver out to each side and a tight end. And it's going to be a straight snap to Atticola. And a great play by Potsgrove. That was Dominic Domeno. Domino. Well, that's exactly what Potsgrove wanted to do. Three and out. They should have decent field position. 
kind of question that play call by Sugo Valley, third and ten, and you run a wildcat. Dominic, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name. Dominic Demino, he is a junior wearing uh, number 55 up front. Little Neil Diamond. As Cuckoo Valley comes out to punt. Bryce Caffrey, one of the guys back deep as we have flags down. Assuming it's delay of game. Another guy back for Potts Grove is Scarnato. Not, not a good opening series for the I, guys in white. I was just about to say it, not the start Schuylkill Valley wanted, because you know how it is, kids get in their mind, oh, here we go again. But it's imperative for Potts Grove, they come down, score, you know, Schuylkill Valley might start, you know, second guessing themselves. Snap, Michael Goad on the punt, nice punt, fair catch. And a clean catch by Scarnato. so Potsgrove will be in good shape. They'll be starting from their own 42 yard line when we come back. Hi, I'm Joe and this is Chris and many of you know us. And we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown where we offer Kohler faucets, Mellon faucets as well, vanities, tubs, and many accessories. Here we have an operating, high efficiency, Energy Star rated American Standard Furnace combined with a variable speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www.patriotnp.com. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimates, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. Foxgrove coming out in the old I formation, but they, uh, Coach Brent Herring says they will run a number of different formations. Cisco, Ryan Cisco is your quarterback. His brother Jay started a quarterback a couple years back. And the ball is on the ground, and it's going to be covered by Schuylkill Valley. Well, as bad as Schuylkill Valley start was, Potsgrove's is worse. Yeah, it looks like it was a little exchange between the. It looks like it was going to be a trap to this go, uh, fullback, and never got it to him. So, yeah, like you said, not a good start for Postgrove, and gives Schuylkill Valley great field possession. Well, wow, that'll flip the field. And now Postgrove's got to be weary of you know going up top on the first play after a turnover, and it looks like the quarterback can throw for Schuylkill Valley. Once again, that is Drew Campbell, six foot, 190 pound senior. Looks like he does have some good size on him. He did go to the air once on the first drive. It was a good pass, but it was knocked to, uh, incomplete after a good hit by the defender. This time they will send two wide receivers out to either side, and again, shotgun without a cola in the backfield. Campbell pass, drills it complete. That was caught by Cooper Hohanadel, the freshman. Good, co good coverage by Potsgrove. Yeah, great coverage by Liebensberger from Potsgrove. Potsgrove went 5 2 straight man. No safety, no help over top. They always did do that, didn't they? Relied on the speed of their corners. They love going straight man with no help in the center field. And again, same formation by Schuylkill Valley and same coverage by Potsgrove. Second down at about seven. That's the first positive yardage for Schuylkill Valley. It's going to be kept by Campbell. He spun down after a gain of about four yards. Yeah, a little quarterback counter there, fake to the tailback and guard and tackle pull. Big third down. This is probably four down territory, I would think, for Schuylkill Valley. And 
And look like Riley Delp on the tackle. Riley, younger brother of Bailey Delp and Becca Delp. Two athletes, former athletes here at Pottsgrove. Oh, that should be a that should be a penalty. They broke the huddle with 12 guys. Oh, good call. Did somebody catch it or they call time? Oh, I, he might have been the 11th guy. I didn't realize it. Good eye is Mike DeMartelier. Yeah, I think yeah, I think he was the 11th guy and he thought he was the 12th. So can you call time? All right, probably still, as long as you break the huddle, right? Right, as long as you be called. more than 11. All right, we're going to take a break. That's the... Uh, First time out of the game, 8.30, left to play first period. We have no score. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. There once was a haunted house. People said they had heard voices. <laughs> but no one dared to go inside. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex. Engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber. ADMoyer.com. Once again, Al Canoes and Mike DeMartelier. Pottsgrove Stadium, gorgeous, gorgeous September night. If every night was like this, it'd be perfect, man. It'll be interesting to see what Schuylkill Valley does here on third and three. You know, they'll probably run the ball just to, you know, know when they're going to go for it on fourth. Oh, good point. Quarterback keeps it. Campbell with a first down inside the 30-yard line. Faked the handoff to Atacola and turns it upfield to move the chains. Yeah, it's exactly what they ran on second down and had more success on third down. It's, it's, it's a real simple play. The, you know, they fake and the guard and tackle pull. The linebackers got to read their keys. Panthers following the turnover on Pottsgrove's first and only play from scrimmage thus far. As Mike said in the open, Pottsgrove coming off a win last week, Schuylkill Valley loss in their opener. There's Atacola hit as he gets to the line of scrimmage. Catch a number, that was number 61, was that 61? Yep. yep. Corey. Jubilee Scott. What if it was a legal formation or Posca was in a neutral zone? Oh, that'll hurt. Would you decline that maybe? I was just thinking that. Well, yeah, I, don't I, know. I would. Yeah, they don't they, they thrown the ball twice and both throws were less than five yards, yeah. so I'd probably decline it too. Yeah. But it makes sense. Yeah, either I mean way. either way, either way yep. you're good. Yep. It's going to be first and 15. Second penalty of the game for the visitors. But if I'm School of Valley and I see this straight man, I'm, you got to take a shot sooner or later. Yeah. Wait, that's a lot of pressure on your corners, isn't it? Yes. All night. All, all night, yep. Well, play action. Campbell's going to float it out in the flats. It is caught by Braden Woods and tackled by Trenton Allen. Good coverage again by the Grove. Yeah, it was great coverage. It wasn't the smoothest play action in the backfield. Didn't look real uh, smooth. But, you know, Posker was there to make the play. Again, I think Allen was covering the receiver and came off the receiver and made the play on the fullback. I don't know, maybe a gain of a half a yard, but still brings up second down and long for Schuylkill Valley on their second drive of the game. But again, it's their third pass of the night, and they haven't thrown a ball over five yards. No. I don't, you got to take one shot. Again, shotgun formation, pitch over to Atacola. Has some room, but he's met very quickly. 
couldn't quite catch the number there, but it limits Atacola to a uh, two-yard gain. That was Liebensberger, the Xavier Liebensberger. That's his second time we've called his name tonight. Yeah, it seems like everybody on Posco is an underclassman. He's only a junior. Third down at 12. Campbell's going to keep it. Campbell has some blockers. Unable to turn the corner as he was hit. Looks like Scarnato. Posco was swarming around, man. They were flying around and getting to the ball. I'm sorry, that was Bryce Caffrey. Bryce Caffrey came up and made a nice play. Boy, and you know, and throughout the years, it's tough to run against Posco if they always have the team speed on defense. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. And it'll be interesting to see if uh, Schuylkill Valley is going to finally throw the ball beyond five yards, being fourth and nine. Tight formation, no wide receivers, two slots to the right. Campbell's rolling, has a man wide open, but it's just a bit too far. Boy, he had Kyle Spots with first down yardage and two steps on his defenders. Defender Pots Potsgrove will take over. Yeah, Campbell, when he watches the film on Monday, he's going to really regret that. That was an easy pitch. I, you, might, have been a, might have been a touchdown, too. Yeah, you're a senior quarterback. you got to – I don't want to get too harsh on the senior, but he, he's got to make that throw. Because Spots ran a good route. He did. He, he was open. And he had time. It's, yeah, he's not going to like that. When he, you can see him right now. His head's down. It's now he's playing linebacker, so he better pick his head back up or yep. Brunson's going to run right over him. Postgrove again to the I formation with Cisco as the quarterback. Pitch back to Brunson. Brunson with some good blocking on the side, but he is well pursued and knocked down right about the lot of scrimmage. Good pursuit by the men in white. Yeah, it was a great play by Paul Engelman, another underclassman. He's only a junior, but that was a good play. Yeah, Schuylkill Valley might have some team speed too. Yeah, it looks like it. And what I love about this is it's like real high school football. Both teams have so many kids going both ways. Now you see with the bigger 6A schools, kids only play one side of the ball. I loved in high school being able to play offense and defense. Again, it's Cisco under center. It's going to run a little option here. And the fullback will lug it for about three or four yards. Fullback is... Uh, Say that was, I gotta find the number. Neeson, is it Max Neeson? Yes, sir. And again, Schuylkill Valley, they're playing straight man, too. But going back to what I was saying to play before, like when you play both ways, like the quarterback, uh, Campbell, missed that throw, but he doesn't go on a sideline and sulk about it because he's got to play linebacker, which makes you, you know, get over it real quick. So I love that. Yes, yeah, he's got some good size to him. He is big, and he can move. Third down at about four and a half. Again, the option, and again, they hand it to Neeson, the up man, and he is not going to come anywhere near his first down, gets up to the 35, and you assume that's going to be a putting situation. Boy, that'd be gutsy to go for it here, man. Looks like he is. Oh, you know what? He might be just telling the giant, either run the same player or get on the jump off sides. I, I admire the stones if he's going to go for it here. <laughs> Actually, shows a lot of uh, faith in your defense, too. Yep. Oh, they're going to go. Oh, what a hole. What a hole. A fly this down, though. And Brunson, he is going to take it the distance. But. Huge hole. But it's all going to come back. Wow. He called holding. Ah. That's a crusher. Hey, what happened? 64 yard touchdown run? You know, in that instance, I was thinking, I hate to see, why don't they just blow the play dead when they know it's, you know, just to. Well, Brunson showed some gas there. Yeah, he's a big kid and he, he can run. Like, he was pulling away, again, I don't know how good Lanzel Catholic was, but he was pulling away kids, had angles, and he nobody was catching him there either. He's a good, good looking kid. Well, now it appears they will punt, but I admire the guts on the coach, and it paid off. I think 
they should be allowed to hold. Timeout in the field. Looks like an, is that an official timeout? They waste this. No, that's Schuylkill Valley timeout. And again, that, that's another pet peeve of mine. I mean, they've already wasted. We're not even nine minutes into the game. They already wasted two timeouts. Yep. All right, 3.11 left to play, opening period. No score, Schuylkill Valley and Potts Group. There once was a haunted house. People said they had heard voices, <laughs> but no one dared to go inside. There's a place for wood in your backyard. We recommend the fire pit. For looks and performance that outlast a wooden deck, make sure your next deck is built with Trex, engineering what's next in outdoor living. Your Trex expert is A.D. Moyer Lumber, admoyer.com. Welcome to the beautiful historic Reading Country Club, now open to the public. Play the same course that Sneed, Hogan, and Hagen played. Designed back in 1923 by renowned golf architect Alex Finley, the Reading has 18 championship holes. Now, after your round, just stop on by the Patio Grill for delicious food and a nice ice-cold beverage. Why not book your organization's next outing at the Reading Country Club? Hey, and by the way, check out the weekly exciting leagues. It's memorable now at the Reading. For more information, just check out the website. ReadingCCGolf.com So Pots Grove, barring a fake or a block, will be punting for the first time tonight. And Scoopa Valley, once again, appears to be uh, ready to get some good field position. Two huge mistakes by Pots Grove, the fumble and then the, the holding call. Yeah, you're right. They, they've had two drives, and Schuylkill Valley really hasn't stopped them. They've no. stopped themselves. Neeson's punt is going to take a nice roll. Picked up. Oh, nice move there. And if another flag is down. Returned by Dominic Joffrey, sophomore for Schuylkill Valley. I didn't see what, what happened. Was that a hold? I'm wondering, oh, I think it was a block in the back, okay. the second penalty, but the first penalty, again, it's either going to be illegal formation on Potts Grove or in the neutral zone on Scuba Valley. I hope it's not one of those nights. I hope it's not with flags like the United Nations. So it's going to be offsetting, re kick. Yeah, we've had what? Four or five penalties already in one turnover? Yeah. And a discussion. I, I don't know what's happening. Punt hey, again? I, yeah, I think they just call it offsetting, so they're going to okay. redo. But they're stepping your artichoke? Wow. Yeah, I don't know the rule. I, on I that. don't either. I, I thought it should have been offsetting. And if anything, the, the, the weightier penalty was against exactly. Google Valley. Neeson again, and over Ender. Fielded again by Jeffrey, stuck hard. Looked like Trenton Allen again, I think. Shane Caffrey. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a good hit. That was a great hit. Look at that short field now for Schuylkill Valley. We could uh, submit that to ESPN for Monday night's jacked up. That was a great forearm. He put his shoulder pad right in his chest. One of the few hits not illegal nowadays. Exactly. Oh, man, that's tough to watch. So, Scuba Valley on their third possession of the first quarter. Yeah, second time starting inside Posco territory. Yeah. Turned the ball over on downs last time. Atacola 
could not squirt between the two pots Grove defenders. And they put a new quarterback in. They have Michael Goad on their center there. Nice tackle by Mark White, wearing number 50. Mark's that big dude there with a 5-0 on his jersey. Still got the new uh, new signal caller under over there, but they still have the old original quarterback in the slot. Oh, Scoogle. tackle on the play again by Trenton Allen. He's made a number of hits. He really has. Schuylkill Valley's mixing up here. Now they're going like a wing T look. They've had like three different looks: a spread, a typical eye, and now they're going wing T. Michael Goad, it looks like he was their quarterback. Now he has seen some action on offense, but not as the quarterback. Yeah, it's, it's a weird, Campbell's the one running to the, to the sideline to get the plays. Yeah. But now he's in the backfield of fullback. Wow, and they are in the wing team. You're right, it's with Goad as quarterback. Oh. Two men in motion, that's not right. That's going to come back. That's Atacola, who has a first down to the run, but it's going to be a legal procedure. And that, you know, that, you know, you go from a third and two to look like you get a promising drive. Now you're third and seven, but you haven't really shown you can throw the ball downfield. Now you're pretty much in a passing situation. That one, I guess when you mix it up too much on offense, you can confuse your own players. Yep. And Atacola is down. That's not good for Schuylkill no. Valley. Now, while they tend them, we're going to take a break. 119 left. First period still scoreless here at Pottsgrove. This is the year you're going to improve your game. No excuses. And the pros at Blackwood Golf Academy are here to help. With their 23-acre all-grass driving range, full-service pro shop, and computerized swing analysis, Blackwood Golf Academy will get your game up to par. Need lessons? Individual and group instruction with head pro Chris Carr will shave strokes off your game and make you the envy of your next foursome. Blackwood Golf Academy, a country club setting open to the public, adjacent to Blackwood Golf Course in Douglasville. Butter Valley Golf Course, conveniently located in the quiet rural setting of Valley PA, just off Route 100. One of the nicest, most affordable 18-hole course in the region. With changing elevations, challenging greens, and scenic fairways, golfers of all ability levels are sure to enjoy their round. Butter Valley Golf Course is a great place to enjoy the game of golf with friends or family, young and old alike. Grab some buddies and grab a meal at the Runway Grill before or after your round. Butter Valley Golf Course. Well, Mike, the good news is Atacola is able to get off, but uh, he uh, has one at least one bad wheel there. That's not a good look. Yeah, when he got up, it looked promising, but the one we walked off the field, yeah, it doesn't look very promising. And the worst thing is the play didn't even count because of the penalty. Yep. It's like what you said earlier. You kind of wish they would just blow it dead. dead. That's the procedure they usually do. When somebody jumps, they do, but if, like, two guys go in motion like that, they don't because they could get set. So okay. I guess, okay, good point. That's yeah. a good point. But again, that's a that's a back raver for Schuylkill Valley. They need points here. They gotta come away with it's the second time they started inside Potsgrove's uh, territory. And they don't come away with points here, it's it's not a good thing. And again they will have Goad, who did not start a quarterback. The starting quarterback is in there and he is wide open downfield, but they go short. Drew Campbell. Yeah, you're right. Kyle Spots was wide open on a corner route, and then Go took the easier, but they got the first down. That's yeah. what they want. You know, you, get, you, you run the ball here, you go in the half to, or the end of the first quarter tied, and you're, you're basically almost in the red zone. It's a promising start for Schuylkill Valley. Last couple routes they've done, they've gotten some uh, space. They did not enjoy that in the, the first three or four passes. Spot the ball at the 22-yard line of Pottsgrove as the clock inside of 30 seconds. Doesn't look like Schuylkill Valley is in any hurry. Yeah, they, they might get another off. delay game here. Yeah. It's a lot of oh, running five for seconds. Campbell. Ooh, just got it off. 
Pottsgrove will bottle up that run, the first down play, and that will do it for our first quarter. Well, we're not gonna submit this to the High School Football Hall of Fame, but hard play, just no score. We'll and like back. you said, it's a competitive game, it's 0-0, the game's still up in the air, yep. even though I think Pottsgrove is probably the better team. You know, They came out a little lackadaisical, probably saw how Schuylkill Valley has had a little bit of a losing streak and they beat the brakes off of LC last week. But they'll regroup, get a stop here, and hopefully get on track on offense. So, car stories on PCTV. Uh, I've been doing it for many years. It's a good advertising tool for the business. Plus, I enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing uh, the shop and the different things that you should know about your car with people. If you need a place to highlight your business, call Gus at PCTV and check it out. Uh, it's a good way to to inform people about your business. You'll get new customers from it, and uh, you can share your knowledge of your particular trade. Schuylkill Valley with second down at about eight and a half as we start the second quarter. I wouldn't be shocked if they came out here and ran that play action and try to hit spots on that corner route again. Goat still in a quarterback. When they've run him, they've gotten under center. There's the pitch back. Potsgrove is there for it. First guy was Scarnato, who slowed it up, and then he got help. Yeah, Neeson was out there. That was number six on the carry. That was Dominic Jeffrey. It's hard sometimes to see they have an eight, a nine, and a six. Yes, it's very confusing. And, it's and even the one. Yeah. The quarterback. But again, you just rarely see this where you got the fullback now, quarterback earlier, he's got to run all the way to the sideline and run all the way back to the huddle. You don't see that very much in 2021 yeah. anymore. Again of the wing T. Hand off to Campbell and Campbell meets a lot of resistance, scratches out maybe a yard or two. It's going to bring a fourth down and short for Schuylkill Valley. And this is a really, really big play for Schuylkill Valley. Because like I said, they're the underdog coming in. They need points. They need to score first. And if Potsgrove does stop them here, I think they'll start getting their offense on track with Brunson. So it's a bigger play for Schuylkill Valley to get the first down. It is for Potsgrove to get a stop, I think. No, no, I agree. Seems like the uh, entire first half has been played in Postgrove's end so far and still no points. Exactly. So Drew Campbell in the tailback. You got a double slot in the wing tee with a wide receiver to left. It will send a man in motion. And it's going to be a pitch back to the man in motion and Postgrove will stuff it. First guy there looked like number six. You gotta find it on the roster. I know it's here somewhere. Oh, ah, Liebesberger again. Yeah, Xavier's had a really good first half. Yeah, he's had some big stops. And again, I think we're gonna see a lot of dosage of uh, Brunson. He seems like he's the best player on the field. You just, yep. just get him the ball and let him make plays. He will come out lined up in the deep spot of the I formation with Neeson behind Cisco. Cisco Valley really jamming the box. Yeah, they're going to hand up to Brunson. Carries a tackler for about a yard up to the 25 yard line. The Again, 26. You can see how talented he is. Uh, I think it was spots that met him in the, in the hole and he spun right off of him. He's got some size to him. But again, that's what I think possibly just pose your will on them. They're bigger than Schuylkill Valley and probably a little bit more speed and talent. Just go right down the throat. As it turned out, he gained about three yards, four yards. Cisco on the roll, has time, fires across his body. Had a man on the sidelines. He had Riley, uh, Riley Delp, Delp on a, yeah, number seven, Riley Delp was wide open on a drag route. Uh, 
he really missed that would have been an easy first down but a good play call by coach Thawthorne he was wide open on the drag route but they just didn't see him Botsgrove goes the air they now face third down eh, about six and a half maybe seven yards Scarnato, one of the receivers coming out near side. And Cisco wants to pass, has a man on the sidelines. It is caught for a first down. That is number 11. We're hunting. Or we got an alphabetical roster. Great, another great play call by Coach Hawthorne. Simple rollout where the outside, they look like they both ran double outs. Good route by number 11. Good throw by the quarterback and an easy first down. Wait, a coach, Coach Hawthorne is ticked about something. He was steaming down there. Oh, look at this, Brunson! Look at the Jets! Touchdown, no flags this time. And again, it's, it's, he's the best player on the field, just feed the beast. But again, it was set up by the big third down conversion by Potsgrove to get the first down, and then the kid can, he, he's a heck of a football player. Great blocking by the left side as well. That's going to be a backbreaker. Schuylkill Valley just dominating play, and all of a sudden, one play, zip. And that's the thing. That's what good teams do, and that's what you know teams that can struggle to win games. That's why they don't win. Oh, here he is. Oh, sorry, I circled it. Mike, thank you very much. The the first down catch was made by Tyler Kaufman. Tyler Kaufman, and we even had that number circled. Maybe that's why, that's why we missed it. Yeah, I tried to do a good thing and I messed this up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Potsgrove strikes very, very quickly. Took him a little while to get moving, but 8.29 left to play second period. Falcons on top by seven. Your potential is waiting. Your future is standing by. Your momentum is ready to be set in motion. All you have to do is take the first step. Three locations, a virtual campus, dedicated faculty, and 50 areas of study. Montgomery County Community College. Apply today and make your own momentum. All right, we're back here for Pottsgrove's kickoff. And again, I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, but this is this is a huge drive for Schuylkill Valley. You know, Potsgrove being up seven nothing. Like you said, Schuylkill Valley's been in Potsgrove's territories three different times and it's come away with no points. Yep. And their best running backs out. Oh. I said that Shane Caffrey. A couple Caffrey's there. Nice kickoff on the play. Good foot by uh, that was Jeff Ray on the on the uh, carry. I'm trying to find 42 here. Oh, there it is. Landon Shivak was your kicker. And I like that. Leg. I like Posco kicked the ball deep rather than pooching it. Now they got to start at the 20 yard line, and it doesn't look like School of Valley has a vertical threat, so no. it's going to make them drive the length of the field. Let's see who they wheel out a quarterback this time. Looks like it's Campbell. Yeah, it's back to Campbell and he's back to the shotgun formation. But I don't think I, I've seen Adicola come back. Yeah, no, nah, he's still on the bench getting looked at by the trainer. Well, Potsgrove's defense has been making some nice hits. Yeah, that's a great play by Neeson. They pulled a guard and he flew in and filled that gap. It's a great play. 
That's a sign of a well-coached team, too. Neeson actually one of the one of the few seniors, it seems like. Everybody else. Oh, we've got some seniors in this game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Again, the shotgun for Campbell. Second down to 10, Campbell wants to chuck it, fires it deep downfield. Good man-for-man -man coverage by Pottsgrove. There was nobody open. He wanted Michael Goad, but, but our Goad guy, had somebody in his hip pocket. The X-Man, X-Man was in his, yeah, he had him covered like a glove. It was a good job by the uh, Schuylkill Valley offensive line, giving him time. But yeah, there was no separation there by the Schuylkill Valley receivers. And again, it's a big third and 10. Yeah. If you kick it from here, you're going to give away some good field position. And I'm sure Posca is going to bring some pressure. They give a lot of cushion to the second receiver in. Again, they're going to go deep. Again, the coverage is right there. Was uh, number one again? That was Bryce Caffrey. We get the, those Caffrey's doing a good job out there in the open field. There was there was no room. No, room. he's only a sophomore. That's asking a lot from a sophomore just to go out there and play straight man to man all game. So Poscro figures to get the ball in the plus half of the field, and they took no time no time off the clock. Three plays, no yards for Schuylkill Valley on that drive. Yeah, it looks like Goad will be the punter. Oh, a nice fielding on the play. Love to see the kids field the punt. Not easy to do. No, that's twice now. Scarnato caught it the first time, and then Kathy caught it that time. Yeah, you love seeing that. You save yourself at least 10, 15 yards, yeah. and it rolls. And again, they got great field possession. I wouldn't be surprised if Hawthorne did a little play action and tried to go up top on Schuylkill Valley. Boy, these Caffrey kids are fast. And you said the only one, one's only a sophomore? Yep, number one. Wow. It's about the ball, about the 48 yard line. Again, they come out with the I formation. Pasco threw it a couple times on their last possession. They're going to run the option this time, and Cisco will keep it. Cisco stopped the pursuit by Schuylkill Valley. Initial hit it was made by Spots, it looks like. Yeah, I think he... I'm sorry, Drew Campbell, my bad. Good job by the Schuylkill Valley defense to only get give up one yard there, but I think if uh, Cisco would have pitched that ball, Austin could be running out that sideline. Excuse me, Brunson. Clock running inside of seven minutes left to play in the first half. Pottsgrove on top by seven. A new fullback in there for Pottsgrove. The older Caffrey. Yeah, Shane Caffrey. Brunson will spin ahead close to a first down. Taken down by Kyle Spots. Nice little hole there for the Pottsgrove offensive line. So he's about a yard shy, maybe a yard and a half. Four down linemen for Schuylkill Valley with four linebackers very close to the line of scrimmage. Almost daring Pottsgrove to run, which they do, and they get the first down, head off to the up man. Yeah, simple dive option, and you know, he made the right read, got the first down. Caffrey's first carry of the game makes it count.
So get the feeling if they had their druthers, they'd rather run the ball than pass. Oh, through. for sure, for sure. And Pasco's offensive line is starting to dominate the game. And again, their first two drives, they got stopped. You know, touchdown got called back on a holding penalty, and obviously first play of the game was a fumble. So Skukovala really hasn't stopped Potsgrove yet. Brunson and McCaffrey are your backfield members behind Cisco with Scarnato in motion. Pass over the middle, whoa, up top, Delp. But a flag is down, might be roughing the passer. Uh, yeah, I think that was a great catch by Delp. Oh, man, Good he ball. went upstairs. That was a great high school football play. And you're gonna tackle on 15 yards for roughing the passer. Ah, the coverage was there, but just a great effort by Delp. Riley Delp. Yeah, great throw by Cisco to give him a chance to make a play. And he made a play. That was a great catch. He's going to march the ball inside, just inside the 10 yard line. Yeah, right to about the 10 yard line. Maybe just outside at the 11. Yeah, and I love that. I love it being at the 12 rather than being at the 9 because yep. then you get the first down inside the 2. Yeah, that's. Receiver to either side for Potsgrove with the backs of the eye behind Cisco. Brunson not going down with first contact. Oh my goodness, he's in the end zone. Again, that run right, he's just simply the best. I mean, that's a ridiculous run right there. He's met in the hole, just stiff arm the kid. It's a man against boys right now. I thought he was down, I thought he was I, done. Yeah, we could hear the Pasco coaches getting upset because he was dancing, but then he scores. Like, they can't get that mad. <laughs> Did a headset get tossed there? <laughs> Did a headset get tossed there? Was it that upset? <laughs> and you pick it up and say, hey, nice job. Yeah, he's, he's a phenomenal running back. And it was a great job by the old line. It was a big hole. And like, like we said earlier, Pasco's offensive line is, is starting to put their foot on the throat of School of Valley's D-line. Oh, no flag. Darn, I was, I was really counting on a flag there, Mike. Yeah, they're so used to throwing them, man. Kick is good by Landon Shivak. Oscar shakes off the first period doldrums and now has a 14-0 lead, 4.45 left to play. Second period, we'll be back with more after this. The Carousel at Pottstown, the area's favorite family entertainment destination. Our fully restored 1905 Carousel, providing fun and excitement for the children of all ages. We have a variety of arcade games and classic pinball machines to enjoy. Several different party areas are available for birthdays, anniversaries, corporate events, and more. And you can also rent the entire facility during off hours for your very own private party, with catering and drink options included. We also operate the Manitani Green Miniature Golf Course, which can be added into your event plan. All right, so for rounds of fun, That'll leave your head kind of spinning. Visit us at The Carousel at Pottstown, 30 West King Street in Pottstown. Call 610-323-6099 for more details. Mike, and you made a, a good spot there. It's a shame. Atticola, the, the tailback, looks like he's done for the night. Yeah, that stinks. I mean, the only thing is, you know, it's only the second game of the year. Hopefully it was just a sprained ankle. He'll be able to get back, you know because you don't want it to be something serious. He missed his whole senior year. Shivak's kick, high, coming down about the 15 yard line. That's Jeffrey, and Jeffrey, who's been taking some shots in his returns. Was that the kicker that hit him? That was. Whoa! That was a great job by the, yeah. Shivak, and he's getting to the high and low fives. He's a rare senior as well. 
just want to take a minute to uh, pass along condolences to the family of Bill Prothro, who passed passed away recently. He was 83 years old. He was uh, the father of uh, one of our former crew members, Olivia Prothro. Uh, just told a very nice, very very nice man, and um, we send our prayers and thoughts to him and his and his family. So first down for Schuylkill Valley. They've had a tough time moving the football, even though they've gotten some good field position tonight already. Yeah, it's like you said earlier, they might be doing a little bit too much stuff that could be confusing the kids. Like now they're going to I formation and they got Campbell back at quarterback. Campbell under center. We just have a a living legend enter the booth, Gary Dorenzo. We're talking to you at halftime, aren't we? Are you now the superintendent or? No. no. <laughs> you should be, man. You should be. This is not live. It is. Well, no. What's up, man? How you been? Good to see you. Good to see you. Grove's looking good now for a tough first period. I say Grove's looking good now. First, tough first period. Rough start there. We'll be talking. And I think this is smart by Schuylkill Valley. Let the clock run out. You don't want to go to down a half, down 28 nothing. We'll be talking to Gary at halftime. And he stays in bounds. So yeah, I think they. Uh, yeah, they're not, they're not going to be too upset to see this clock go to zero. Exactly. You don't want to come out here, throw the ball three times, and not waste more than 15 seconds to give Posco a good field possession. So it's smart by the coach Harbach from uh, Schuylkill Valley. Let that clock run. Hopefully pick up this first down. I got to give kudos to one of the coaches. I don't know if it's the head coach, but when I was walking and he saw my Notre Dame shirt and said, go Irish. So. Yes, sir. Big win. Even though we tried to lose, it was a big win yeah. for the Irish. Oh. I thought for sure they were going to blow it over time, too. <laughs> Third down is about a yard. Very important here for Schuylkill. They do not want to give the ball back to Pottsgrove, obviously. And quarterback Snake looks like they have the sufficient yardage to move the chains. That's a big first down for them. If you're screwed about right now, you, your main goal is to go down 14 nothing worse. Yep. Hopefully be 14-7, but no worse than 14 nothing. Boy, they have number 68 there in the offense. He's a big dude. They have a couple big guys in their offensive line. I don't see him on the on the program though. Of course. <laughs> Maybe they did get him a new number because he outgrew his old jersey. But he's being faced on defense by a big dude, too. 50 is a big guess. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Again, good coverage. Man broke open. Yeah, good job by uh, Campbell stepping up in the pocket to buy himself some time. But again, I just don't, I don't know why you're throwing the ball, stopping the clock. Yeah. You just got a first down on three running plays. Fifty is Mark White. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, yeah. Give, give a lot of credit to Pasco secondary. I mean, they're playing straight man. They they've been in their pockets of all school about receivers almost oh. every play. Yep. Anybody that goes deep has a man stride for stride with him. Here comes the blitz. Schuylkill Valley picks it up. Oh, well, now they don't. Yeah, and Pasco. See, now I don't understand this play. And now Pasco is going to call a timeout. You're in a third and. 16, you haven't completed a pass over five yards, so you're more than likely. But again, wow. great coverage by the secondary pots group. Man, if I was that much blitz every play, the way they get their man-to-man -man coverage in the secondary. Yeah, because it's Google Valley, they're not doing any crossing routes, any screens, quick pass, you know, it's just. The last four or five passes, everything, well, they tried to run a dig on first down, didn't get it, but everything else has been feeds. 
they go for the punt block here? Well, it's only third. Oh. So maybe not then. But you're probably right. They're gonna <laughs> on fourth. I would I would think so. I would venture to if they don't turn the ball over on third. You know what I was thinking, Mike? Was actually they might try to quick kick it. Oh, okay. That, that's that's what my line of thinking was. That might actually be smart. It's not that I wasn't paying attention to, to, the, <laughs> to the down marker. <laughs> I, don't, I honestly I don't see why more teams don't quick kick it on third down when it's like third and forever. Especially something like this. Yeah. I figure all you have to do is get a low one off. That and the bootleg. I think it would, I would I'd love to see the bootleg more. We got to get just inside Potts Grove territory at the 49 to get a first down. We got a rolling pass. Man is out there. Briefly had an opening. That is spots and was hit immediately by Trenton Allen, who has been all over this field tonight. That was, fourth down. Now they will punt. I now they will punt. That was great coverage by Allen. He knew where the sticks were. He don't care about giving up eight yard out. Make the tackle, make them punt. And Posker still has one timeout left. Meantime, remember, don't go anywhere. Gary Dorenzo will be our special guest at halftime. <laughs> I've been seeing you a while, man. I got I, I to gotta get my digs in when I can. All right, here comes Schuylkill Valley now. 158 left to play, and they will be... Assume, you assume punt, there's not going not gonna to fake it here. No, I don't think that. Yeah. No coaches that much. No. Courage. And again, like we said earlier, it'd be good to see the Postgre kids catch the ball they did on the first two punts of the night. Looks like it's Scarnato and one of the Caffrey brothers. The younger Caffrey brother. That's a liner. Oh, Scarnato will field it on the run. This is a nice looking return. Right down the sidelines. Finally knocked out of bounds inside the 20. And that was a great block right to the original when he caught the ball by Trenton Allen to spring him. And then he had a little wall there. And our guy, Mark White, was trying to block the punter, but he just wasn't able to keep keep a hat on a hat. And a good play by the punter just to get him out of bounds. Wow, yeah, I'll say saved a touchdown. But for how long? Hi, my name is Vinny Scarnato. I play wide receiver and safety for Postgre football, and I really enjoy it contributing to my community with my players. But a great job by Potsgrove, you know, returning the punt. And you got to question why Schuylkill Valley went to the air. But, you know, they're playing the win. They're not playing out to lose. So I guess that's why they were trying to pass. That was an ideal punt to return to, wasn't it? You, like you said, it was a low line drive. They're the ones you like as a punt returner, obviously. 144 left, plenty of time for Postgrove. They spot the ball, looks like the 15 yard line. You know Brunson's smelling that hat trick. Come out, backs in the eye again. Caffrey is your fullback. Ooh, a little play action here. Roll by Cisco. Cisco toward the end zone. And it is incomplete. Had a man. That was Allen. No, that was Delp. I'm sorry, Delp. Just got <laughs> the five yard line. He makes that great catch across the middle. And then he, yeah, that was a great ball. Maybe a little late by the quarterback, but again, it was a great, well thrown ball. Delp's got to make that catch. Uh, all for not anyway. Illegal man downfield. I think Cisco could have even run that one for the He could have. Now, would have came back anyway. Would have came back anyway. So you know, hopefully, when they're watching this later, be like, I told you I didn't have any drops because it wouldn't have mattered. <laughs> Never showed up the stats. Yep. So move the ball back to the 20 yard line. 138 left to play in the first half. They're going to run the option. First option is to hand it to the fullback. Caffrey in his second carry of the night. We'll get back to close to the original line of scrimmage. 
Yeah, they literally get like four or five yards a pop now running the ball. Cisco wants to throw it toward the end zone. Low throw, incomplete. Good coverage. Looked like they had Brunson and was the intended receiver, but the coverage was there. Again. Another penalty. Same, same issue. Is that a legal man downfield? Yeah. It's rare you see that once or twice in the game, but not two out of the last three plays. I want to ask you, it, does it vary, but do they give you a yard or two, or is it pretty much? I thought it was like two or three yards. Okay, yeah. but other, okay. Yeah, they give you some leeway. But the so, lineman must have been run blocking or something. I like that by School of Valley, decline it. Yep. Now Brunson is one of the wide receivers out to the left. It's shotgun now for Cisco with Caffrey. Cisco floats at corner. Has a man out there. It is incomplete. Oh. That was, a, that was another well thrown ball by Cisco. Yeah. That was Kaufman. Kaufman looked like he had a step. That was in the dark corner, though. I couldn't really tell. That's a huge stop by Schuylkill Valley's defense. I think we're going to have a 34-yard uh, field goal attempt. Maybe 33. 33-yard field goal attempt by Shivak. Cisco is your holder. Good snap. Good-looking kick, but it looks like it's a little to the left. And it is no good. Had the distance, just not the direction. So Scuba Valley dodges the bullet there. Long punt return, and they do not allow any points. Yeah, they actually went backwards. Yeah. Started at the 15 and on the 16. Two crushing illegal man downfield penalties together. Right? Yes. Now, 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 if you're Scuba Valley, 57 seconds, you got one timeout, ball to 20. Are you, are you trying to score? Are you just going to half down 14 nothing? Because you don't want to do anything silly here because possibly as the ball starts the third quarter. So you're not trying to turn the ball over. You just dodge a huge bullet by, you know, stopping from the 15. So I'm probably just run the ball here on first down, see if you can brust it, and then just go to half. Having a little confab on the sideline. Once again, good to hear Tom Bailey is the PA announcer here at Postscript Stadium. Been here for uh, for a while. He's done a nice job. Always brings enthusiasm to the job. Nice man. They're going to hand the ball off, and Postscript is waiting for it. Didn't even get a chance to catch the number of the ball carrier. So it was, they put Campbell back at fullback. Time for one more play. And as Mike mentioned, Pottsgrove will get the ball first to start the second half. They do have to snap it one more time. I guess you didn't want to take the time out to halftime, right? So they wanted to use it there. Holy cow. All right, we're going to take a break, Gus, or we're going to hang here for the final nine seconds. We're going to, set, we're going to hang here for the final nine seconds. So the Irish got the uh, Rockets tomorrow? Yeah. And you know what ticked me off a little bit? They, uh, NBC was saying it's on, going to be on Peacock, the network. It's not on NBC? No. Well, no. No, Peacock is an NBC um, affiliate or something? Yeah, and so I got the uh, the app today, but then to watch it, you have to get the premiums. You have to pay $4, which isn't that much, but it's a, it's a matter of principle. Now, exactly, why do that? exactly. And I that, forgot you were a Notre Dame fan, man. I, I, I knew am. I liked you for a reason. 
<laughs> so yeah, that stinks, man. That stinks. They're holding you hostage to watch Notre Dame game. Yeah, it's not right. No. Pitch back to a new ball carrier. That's like Cooper Hohenel. I have not pronounced that right in four different tries. Huh. Hohenel. He's a freshman. I apologize, Cooper. And that's fitting for at the end with the way that the Posca secondary is playing for Caffey, excuse me, Caffrey to have a solid tackle. I've been really impressed with the Posca O-line and their secondary, and obviously Brunson is, is very, very good. All right, we'll have our special guest coming up at halftime right after this. Hi, I'm Joe, and this is Chris, and many of you know us. And we'd like to welcome you to our new showroom here at 618 North Reading Avenue in Boyertown, where we offer color faucets, mowing faucets as well, vanities, tubs, and many accessories. Here we have an operating high efficiency Energy Star rated American Standard Furnace combined with a variable speed AC condenser. Uh, let us install one today to start saving you money throughout the heating and cooling season. Here at Patriot, we now offer kitchen and bath designs. So come visit us today at 618 North Reading Avenue or visit our website at www.patriotnt.com. We're back here with my old friend, Gary Durenzo, former athletic director. You told me your title and I already forgot it. Do you mind? It's a tongue twister. It's director of co-curricular uh, programs and community relations. Good to see you still back, and, and I, I know you enjoy it. Just talk about the community here. This is My daughter went here. I love this place, and you must, too, because you've been here forever. Well, I grew up here, so I'm kind of like the Dick Clark of Pottsgrove. You know, I went to school here. I did all 12 years of school, and then, obviously, I came back as uh, And actually, when I was hired back in the early 90s, uh, or it was uh, Pottsgrove was very progressive because they made my position uh, director of student activities and athletics, so... You know, I had oversight of all the clubs and everything, which was, which I still believe is uh, integral to any student's experience in, in, in a school. I think it's, you know, it's not what you know. Sometimes it's what you do. And I think those experiences really help, you know, mold kids and mold all of us, really. You know, we still got to put up with this crap from COVID, pardon me. But uh, it's, it's good to have the kids back, isn't it? I mean, is it, is it feeling like, hey, we're almost back to normal or what's the, what's the mood? It's tremendous, to be honest with you. And I know there's, you know, we still have some challenges that we have a mask mandate, et cetera. But, um, you know, when I go into buildings and see, you know, teachers and students interacting, I see kids, you know, student athletes playing. I, it's just a different, you know, I hate to say it, it's almost a different vibe than what we're used to. So it's our new norm. Hopefully that norm kind of peels back to what our old norm was. But, um, you know, I just walked around the stadium tonight. I see people in the stands. I see people that are smiling again. And, you know, really, uh, I, as you know, I think I'm pretty much an optimistic guy, and it, it really wore on people this past year. So, um, you know, it's nice to see a, a positive atmosphere again. Uh, you guys have had some issues with the power. Uh, <laughs> everything okay with that? Well, it is now, but uh, nothing – it's, uh, it's one of those things where you come back and you're all excited and maybe our building got too excited and uh, we had, uh, after uh, the hurricane rains from Ida, uh, we had uh, some water that really exposed a, a broken wire uh, in one of the transformers that feeds the high school. Uh, and obviously that's a big deal. Uh, so when they discovered it, they obviously pumped out all the water and discovered that it was a little bit more substantial than just a quick fix. So. Um, you know, as soon as we got back to school in person, we had to take a day off uh, yesterday, and uh, uh, they came in and fixed it, did a tremendous job, and then Pico turned the power on last night, so we're, we're back in action. But, yes, uh, you know, I guess we expect nothing less in this abnormal, uh, yeah. whatever normal is anymore. Yeah, what else could I, I got one more question for you. Are halftime still 40 minutes, like when you and Penny Packer ran the show? <laughs> <laughs> now they're only supposed to be 15, All but... Right. Uh, <laughs> I swear this. I didn't remember this guy though, your partner, and I was just checking in with him a little bit, and uh, there were some phenomenal games when these guys oh, played. Sure. I mean, they were legendary games, Potsgrove and Lansdale Catholic, and uh, he was really one of those guys that, um, 
he was like the Danny Ainge, man. You like, I, I, yeah, he was, yeah, oh, but man, you wanted him on your team. He made plays all the time, and uh, he's just a tremendous guy, so. Hey, I got to be, you don't age, man. You still look the same. I, I'm not just blowing smoke, man. He, I'm, I'm, I'm getting old. My birthday's on Sunday. 42? Uh, I, yeah, 38. Okay, all right. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to add any years. And I have students now that are 41 and 42. Yeah. If I see somebody, I say, hey, I know your dad. No, you knew my grandfather. Exactly. <laughs> Gary, good to see you, man. If you ever need anything, oh. let me know, and I'll get somebody to help you out. Yeah, all right? I love it. Thanks, you guys. And thanks for PCTV being back. It's nice to be back on the air and, you know, hosting live events again. So One more, one more question. I'm sorry. Do you still keep in touch with Rick? What is he doing? Uh, he's doing great. He's golfing. He is, uh, he's actually I, – I, you know, and we've had, we had a 20 some plus year relationship and uh, I have to give him credit. He's a, uh, he's a pretty good golfer now. So he's taking his passion from football and put it on the links. No, no club swinging or anything? No, nah, he's good. He's <laughs> calm, happy. He's happier than I've ever seen him. <laughs> All right, Gary. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you. For more than 50 years, Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery has served its community with expert dental care, offering patients dental implants and a full menu of procedures for many types of dental problems, including bone grafting, wisdom teeth, impacted canines, facial trauma, jaw surgery, oral pathology, TMJ disorders, and sleep apnea. Get the smile you've always wanted. Contact Pottstown Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery today. Yakalak Construction, serving the Tri-County area since 1946. Family owned, free estimate, all types of concrete work, sidewalks, foundations, steps, curbs, and more. Professional service and quality. Give them a call, 610-323-8134. We have a small senior class, but we have a quality senior class. Um, we have six young men who I feel are the quintessential Young men that you want to lead a football program. Um, they are just total and consummate team players that do the things necessary to win football games. They put their team ahead of themselves, and that's exactly what Potsgrove football is all about. So once again, Potsgrove will be on offense starting out the, the second half. And one thing I always wanted to look to see how teams warmed up. I think sometimes teams don't get adequately warmed up for the second half, and I thought Potsgrove always seemed to do a good job getting their kids loose. Yeah, they definitely did. They, they, they circled up. Kugel Valley just walked out the locker room and chilled on the sideline for the last three minutes. Yeah, cause it, stiffness, I know they're young kids, but stiffness still has a chance to set in. And it definitely get the does. Blood flowing. Kickoff by Colby Krills. Touchdown. Oh, there's a hole. Wow. I guess they are warmed up. At least Brunson is. Wow, that was on cue, Al. You called it. Say, oh Every my. once in a while. Wow, that kid's got some speed, man. Yeah. They, uh, Angles don't seem to mean anything with defenders. No, not with him. And he's only a junior, right? And he's, yeah, he'll be back all next year. As was, Potsgrove always seems to have these tailbacks. Just Stud tailbacks, yep. It's a great way to start the second half. Definitely not the way they started the game. I mean, you kind of thought that, you know, with Schuylkill Valley not having a great record and Potsgrove having a great win last week, you kind of thought the kids from Potsgrove would come out a little lethargic. But they picked it up in the second quarter, and obviously they picked it up in the third. It's a great start. Kick is good by Shivak, and just 12 seconds into the third quarter, Potsgrove goes up by 21. At Superior Credit Union, we believe in growing stronger together. So we provide products and services to fit your financial needs and accommodate your busy lifestyle. With convenient services like home banking, e-deposits, account alerts, and a free coin counter for members, come see why Superior Credit Union is growing. Visit any one of our three locations in Collegeville, Royers Ford, and our brand new location in Pottstown. Superior Credit Union. An orthopedic institute is more than a name. It's a unique care model based on quality and compassion. Decades devoted to research and clinical trials. 
the development of new surgical techniques and physicians who outperform the field. What you get from our institute is more options and more answers. For your orthopedic care, think Rothman first. New office and seven-day urgent care now open in Limerick. Yeah, that didn't take long. Potsgrip now kicking off. And after a dull first quarter, they seem to have gotten their bearings and actually should be up by more than just 21. Uh, yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> and I, I was giving kudos to Posco for kicking it deep early in the first half. I guess Google Valley, well, they got to score first to be able to kick off again, but they won't be kicking deep the next time. No. I'm sure the coaches told them not to keep the ball at number four, but. <laughs> again, Shivak showing a good foot. Drives the receiver, Jeffrey, all the way back to the five yard line. And a flag comes in from way back. It's, you figure it's got to be holding. And that's something Schuylkill Valley did not need. They'll be starting instead, probably their own 15. Yeah, that's a great kick. He kicked that the ball down to the two yard line, two more yards, and they got to start at the 20 no matter what. But like you said, they're going to be inside their 15. And that's not a good sign for the white team out there tonight. That is, in that instance, you're probably better off just letting it go in the end zone. And, yeah, uh, start at the 20. Yeah. But it'll be interesting to see what you know what adjustments Google Valley made at halftime. You know they they've shown they got two different quarterbacks. They got a good tight end in spots, and it doesn't look like uh, Ada Cole is out there, so he's yeah. probably obviously done for the night. Yeah, he got hit on a run around to the sidelines. It was actually called back. Yeah, and was helped off the field and has not returned. Oh, that penalty was on Pottsgrove. You know, originally they signaled Pasco, then they stepped off the yardage against Google Valley, and now they're coming the other way. Okay. Oh, I guess the kid from Pasco went low on a blocker to break up the wedge. Boy, you don't see that very often. No. Well, that changes things. Bring the ball up to the 33-yard line. If you're Schuylkill Valley, at least want to string together some first downs. Campbell again at a quarterback. Hits Goad on a short out pattern. And again, the coverage right there. Great coverage and great pressure. Number 55 blasted through that O-line. Domino, Dominic Domino bringing the pressure. And again, we've been saying it all night, the, the Potsgrove DVs are dominating the Schuylkill Valley receivers. Give him that little uh, little cushion for a two-yard gain. I'll let that go all night. All night. Four times two is eight. Pottsgrove, three down linemen, one end in an up position. Good rush there. It's caught. And it looks like a first down by Colby Krills on a sideline pattern, and that will move the chains. Again, he's only a sophomore. Like, it's amazing. Campbell does show signs that he can throw the ball and then miss an easy eight yard out when he missed uh, spots on the first down in, in the first quarter. Yeah. But there's two good solid throws. You got a first down, you're moving the sticks. Ball setting just shy of the 45. And they'll chuck it. Campbell again, quick throw. That is a heck of a break by the young sophomore Bryce Caffrey. And he tried to do a little five yard hitch route and he jumped it. Yeah, hard to, that kid does not look like a sophomore. No. And, and he, you know, the word the kids use today is that he's got that little swag. Yeah. You can see he's got a little swag out there. And again, they keep shuttling the play in from the sideline, which isn't bad when you have the ball on your own 45, but when you have it down by either 10. Right, and they're on their out. hash. <laughs> <laughs> again, Potsgrove's corners in man coverage. They have not given up an inch. It's gonna be a keeper. Campbell is taken down, it looked like Delp came up and made a tackle. But again, it was a great job by our guy, Xavier. 
keeping him inside and containing him. So he had to cut it back up and looked like it was going to be a promising play. Only got about four yards and brings up a pretty big third and six for Scoot Valley, which I would venture to say this is four down third. Yeah. I mean, what's the difference between 21 and 28? Right. Especially if you gain a couple yards here, you at least put yourself in a makeable spot. Exactly. I mean, they've already had a, a kickoff return for a touchdown and could have had a punt return for a touchdown. Yeah. It wasn't for the number one, the, the actual punter, Michael Goad. See, I definitely would think this is, unless they lose 10 yards, I would go for it on fourth. Haven't tried a screen yet. There's Campbell turns up field. Wow, met right as he gets to the line of scrimmage. His own blocker was standing beside him and the defender came in and made the tackle. Yeah, two kids in the from Posca have met in the backfield. Yeah, looks like they're sending they are sending the punt team in. I guess that last play didn't inspire a lot of confidence. Right. And they didn't gain anything. They didn't gain no. Scarnato. And the younger Caffrey back to receive the punt. See, again, I don't understand this. Why you waste? It's fourth and five. Why not just take the delay game? It's fourth and ten. It's five yards. You may need that timeout. You know, you're down 21. You get it 21-14. You're going to need those timeouts in the fourth quarter. You should have just let the clock run and take the delay game. A timeout's more valuable right now than five yards in the yep. middle of the field, I think. No, I agree. It's one thing to burn them in the first half, but in the 